Hey Drover fans, we're back with a brand new season of In the Saddle and a brand new season of Drover Sports. Soccer kicks off in less than a week here in Chickasha and coach Jimmy Hampton is determined to take both teams to the national tournament. He's our first guest on the show this week, so let's get started. This is In the Saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Welcome to the season premiere of In the Saddle with Drover Sports. It's a weekly program where we feature the USAO sports programs, soccer season getting underway, and if you've been seeing some of the papers or some of the rankings, the USAO men's soccer team favored to win the Sooner Athletic Conference this year. Also preseason ranked number 20 in the NAIA National Poll. We do have Coach Jimmy Hampton with us. Of course, Coach Hampton coaches both the men's and the women's soccer programs. Coach, welcome to another season. I know you're, you're ready to get after it. Yeah, we are. We've been, we've been going a few days now, and uh, we're excited. we got a few new players in, a lot of returning players. And, uh, you know, first couple of weeks is just kind of find out where we're at and where we need to go, and that's what we're doing right now. The men coming off a great season last year where they qualified for the national tournament for the first time in school history. Yeah, we had, we had a great season last year. And, you know, for our men, we, we were so proud of them last year, and they did a great job. I think, I think for us, it's, it, as we remind them every day, is that was last year. Now let, let's build on it and, and, and see if we can maintain it and maybe do a little bit better. League champions last year, unbeaten with one tie, and uh, also the conference tournament champions. And I know that was a big goal for you, too. Oh, I think getting through the conference was one tie. Uh, phenomenal effort from the men because our, our Sooner Athletic Conference is, 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 is brutal. It's tough. Everybody's good from first place to last place. Anybody can win on any given day. So I think, you know, getting to the national tournament was great, but uh, getting through the sack unbeaten was, was quite an accomplishment for the men. All right, uh, and just quickly review the women's program. I know they battled through a few injuries, but they had an okay season. Yeah, we did. I mean, I think starting seven freshmen, and we lost Taylor Fain probably for five or six games in there. Uh, Cooper was beat up a little bit at times, and we had some others. But, uh, you know, we're back. We're healthy. We're strong. We're no longer freshmen. We've grown up a lot, and uh, we expect great things from the women this year. Talk about the women a little bit. They're picked to finish third in the conference this year and in the women's national poll. They actually uh, picked up some points. They're in the top 35 in the country. Yeah, they are, which is the first time ever in the preseason for the women. So I think people took notice of the fact last year that we were pretty good. Lost a few maybe that we shouldn't have, but realize all the talent we have coming back and how young we were. Uh, you know, Callie Cooper, returning All-American. Brittany Jay put a lot of points on the board for us. Taylor Fain put a lot of points on the board for us. But then, you know, you got Andy Zock back as a center back. Leslie Bross has recovered from her ACL completely. She's 100%, which will be huge for us in there. Gabby Martinez, three-year starter back in the middle, picked up a nice uh, goalkeeper out of Tulsa, Addie Tipton, who's going to have a huge impact. So we're just excited all the way around on the girls' program. Talk about uh, the preseason, the players just getting back in camp this week. So what do you do over the next couple of weeks before uh, you get ready for your scrimmages? i got to be honest. You know, what do we not do? We're, you know, coaches, we're all the same. They come in, and we probably don't think we're very good at anything, to be fair. We look at them, and, and we, we just pick them apart in the first two weeks, to be fair. And we break everything down from fitness to psychological to technical to tactical. Uh, where are we? Where do we need to be? How quickly do we need to be there? And I just don't think you ever know until you play that first game. But we're probably very... We're very hard on them and very picky in the first couple of weeks on, on the things we want them to do. And so, it, it, you know, the first two weeks are rough, like any other, I'm sure any other preseason practice going on anywhere. We, it, 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 a lot of work, a lot of work. And so uh, hopefully we can sort everything out and get through these scrimmages next week and help prepare us to get ready for the opener. Coach, you have a lot of passion for this game. You coach it year round. Matter of fact, this summer uh, you were named Coach of the Year uh, for your your club team up in Oklahoma City, and your daughter Drea named Coach or Player of the Year for for the league. So, congratulations. Uh, thanks so much. You know, we got a great great group of talent. Some of the USAO girls were were on this roster. Annie Zock played, uh, uh, Brittany J played, uh, Callie Cooper played. You know, we had four or five OU kids, four or five OSU kids, and. 
You know, I, I, I appreciate it. it was great. I was, I was excited for, for Dre to do well. And, you know, last year, I think I was Sooner Athletics Conference, uh, the coach of the year. And, you know, I've been here 10 years. And as I told the boys yesterday, I said, you know, it wasn't my award. That was y'all's award. You know, sometimes coaches probably get a little bit more credit and take too much blame. But it's a team award. And I would say the same thing this summer. You surround yourself with good quality players. And maybe sometimes a coach gets recognized. But, but it was a team award. And I was proud of the group that played this summer just like I was at the men last year. Not my award. I'll take it in representation of them. But it's their award for being so good. Talk about the preseason scrimmages uh, coming up this next week, and then the season opener is really less than two weeks away. Yeah, it is. Uh, the women open up with Northern Juco next Tuesday in a preseason, and then we get Dallas Baptist on Thursday. Uh, we, we've got both of them at home. We wanted to keep them home, and, and we send them into a couple NCAA two schools at uh, uh, Midwestern on Wednesday, and I want to say Kansas Newman on Friday. So, you know, and, and we didn't give them but a day break in between. So we want to put them in kind of a tough spot this next week, which was our goal in the preseason to see how we'll respond with not much rest and this and that and see some of the new players. And hopefully that prepares us for our trip to Tennessee to open up uh, with a couple wins. That's our goal anyways. And the scrimmages, the results don't matter so much as much as how we play and if we can find the right pieces to the puzzle. Coach, appreciate your time as always. And uh, congratulations on your previous success. And here's wishing you well uh, for the upcoming season. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, be sure to tune in each week now for uh, our In the Saddle with Drover sports programs. You can hear it on Cool 105.5 every Thursday morning and, of course, on the USAO website and, of course, on suddenly Channel 18, the USAO channel here in Chickasha. I'm George Plummer for In the Saddle with Drover Sports. I hope you like our new look. We're looking forward to a season full of coaches, starters, and even a few alumni. So make sure to tune in each week on In the Saddle. We're available on 105.5 FM, Local Channel 18, and USAO's website. We'll be back next week with more soccer, so we'll see you then. They got the rhythm tonight, they're in the zone. You got to move